a lot. Um, but, um, people say to us, yeah, but it says in Islam we must obey the law of the land, things like this. Or they say, you know, we agree, but the harm outweighs the benefit, things like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. First thing, when people say, you know, in Islam it says obey the law of the land. Okay. If somebody says that that is a verse of the Quran, he's kaf because he made up a verse of the Quran lies about Allah. Okay. There's no verse of the Quran or hadith of the Prophet وسلم, whatsoever that says obey the law of the land. Rather, all of the verses and the hadith they have a common theme: obey Allah and obey the Messenger. And anybody who always orders you something different from that, leave them and obey Allah His Messenger. That's clear. Okay. We obey those in authority among the Muslims. If they rule by Islam, and if the Muslim rule by other than Islam, or disobey Allah Islam, we reject him and we go back to Allah and Muslim. This verse in Surah Nisa, verse 59, Allah says, amanu, Allah wa He said, Oh, you who believe, obey Allah and obey the Messenger. What will an min kum fi shayin Allah wa rasul? And those in authority among you, if you differ with them in any matter, leave them, go back to Allah and His Messenger. That is the best for you. Okay? So this is what we need to understand. Okay? The obedience is to Allah specifically. We obey Muhammad because he is obedience to Allah. Okay? The Prophet said, Man ata'ani faqad ata'a Allah. The one who obeyed me has obeyed Allah. Okay? So we obey Muhammad because it's obedience to Allah. Because his speech is revelation. His actions are revelation. But the man who is not in speech and the speech and action is not revelation, we will only obey them if they order us in something which is in accordance with the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So there's nothing called obeying the kufr law of the land you're living in, the al kufr There's no way it's going to happen. Rather, Allah says the opposite. Surah Ahzab, verse 1, Allah says, Ya you and Nabi Taqillah, wa la tuti'al kafirin wal munafiqin. He said, Don't, O oh, oh Prophet, fear Allah. Do not obey the disbelievers or the hypocrites. And the other verse in Surah Nis, Surah An'am, Surah 6, verse 1 to 1, Allah Ta'ala says, That, wa in ata'tumuhum, inna kum la mushrikun. Okay, regarding those who make man-made laws, you know, making halal or other made haram and so on, he said, if you obey them, you become mushrikeen. You become the polytheists. So there's nothing called obey the law of the land. There's something called obey Allah and let the shaitan and tawheed go to hell. Okay, that's what we have in terms of obedience. Yes? So that, because oh, obviously that we live in England, so... Like not obeying the law, but actually just living within it. Like, does that make sense? Yeah, because like, nobody's saying here yeah, yeah. you have to go yeah. out and find every law and break it. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's not what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? We don't obey. You know, Allah Taala says don't steal. Okay, and the law of the land says don't steal. So what? We don't start stealing. Allah said don't steal. So I don't steal because Allah said it's haram, for, illegal for me to steal. Not because of the queen. Who cares about the queen? Okay, I don't uh, drink because Allah said it's haram, illegal. Even though the law says it's legal. Okay. I don't buy insurance because Allah said it's illegal, even though the law says you must. You understand? So we will obey Allah's laws and we don't care about the, the man-made laws. Okay? If they happen to be similar and coincide, okay, that's not a problem. But we don't obey it because of the queen, because the queen has no right to be obeyed. We obey Allah because he has the right to be obeyed and he's the only one who has the right to be obeyed.